Okay, again, absolute maximum, absolute minimum. You are the function in the end point. B in half. B in half is one half. Minus natural logarithm one half. Now, to compare, let me put in the calculator to see the decimal representation. Okay, my function is x minus natural logarithm of x. Okay, evaluate at one half. One half. Okay, and decimal is one point nineteen. One point approximately. 1.19 and p over in 2 2 is 2 minus natural logarithm of 2 again calculate is c over in 2 now 2 1.3 1.3 31 1.31 now I try to find the intermediate point to see you find the derivative p prime you know, of x derivative x is 1 and derivative logarithm of 1 over x uh, you condensing only one fraction x x minus 1 should be 0 uh -huh. and the critical point is 0 numerator 0 denominator but I don't care this is 0 is x equals 0 is completely out of the interval does it x minus 1 equals 0 x x equal and you have the p and 1 p and 1 is 1 minus natural logarithm of 1 natural logarithm of 1 is 0 the answer is 1 ok so what is the maximum this is the maximum absolute maximum what is the minimum this is the minimum. Absolutely. Okay, let me see the decimal simulation. Okay, this is a curve. Uh, the endpoint are 0.5, one half, and the value associated 1.18, 3, and 2 is 1.31, 31 over 0. EN1 is 1.1, is a actual minimum this is the actual maximum actual minimum actual maximum the function is decreasing in the bar inside the interval of course and increasing the bar super